Hey y'all, this is And Lee. I am back with day four of my makeup vlogging challenge. You can check out days one through three along with my inspiration for the vlog from Davina at bellydanceatanysize.com. So today I have got on a rather dramatic makeup look. I'm calling this my gig day makeup. Today's makeup look is what I would typically put on for a gig, for a private event, or even maybe a community event where I'm going to be possibly up close and personal with uh, people I'm dancing for. So I want to have a nice dramatic and professional makeup look, but I don't want to pull out all the stops and tricks that I would use for say a photo shoot or a a professional stage show because um, that's maybe a little bit too harsh um, so this is sort of my everyday gig look it's another purple eye look and these purples that I'm using are a little bit more vibrant than the purples I used um, on day three and uh, a little bit more jewel, jewel toned so what do you think I also want to talk to you today about priming your face. Um, the other makeup looks that I have shared up to this point, I did not do any sort of face priming other than um, just my general acne cream that I put on before I put on my foundation or BB cream. But for a gig look or professional look where you're going to be out performing, dancing for hours, you definitely want to prime your face. So I use this from L'Oreal. It's the Magic Perfecting Base Face Primer from their Studio Secrets line. It is a sort of spongy mousse product that uh, you pat on your skin and then rub in. And it basically just creates a really smooth canvas for your makeup to go on top of can help absorb excess oil and it can also help um, sort of fill in any kind of crevices, cracks, or if you have some um, skin imperfections from dry skin or uh, acne scars and stuff like that. It really just helps give you a nice smooth base. Now I also used an eyelid primer as well. Um, this is the e.l.f. eyelid primer in Sheer might be the only color it comes in and I just sort of applied it all over my lid and patted it on and smoothed it in so the first thing that I did was I applied this matte perfecting um, sorry this magic perfecting base all over my face and then I applied uh, an eyelid primer as well so now we're going to go over the products that I used for today's look I decided to use MAC products for my base makeup today because I feel like it has really good coverage and I feel like it has good staying power as well. Um, if I was going to a gig and sweating a lot or if I was sort of up close and personal with people, I want my makeup to stay put. And I also feel like it gives really good coverage. So. I started out with MAC Studio Fix Foundation. This is color NW15. And this coverage is great. Um, I know a lot of people swear by this foundation. I'm not 100% convinced that the color is really right for me. That's one thing about MAC products I've had a hard time with is they tend to be a little bit too yellow for my skin tone uh, but I think it works pretty well especially today it does give me a slightly more porcelain look than my BB cream um, but you know it still works so I'm using it now if I was dancing um, on a stage with lots of lighting you know where your features kind of disappear under bright lights I would apply this foundation with a brush but because we're talking about a gig look or I'm up close and personal with uh, clients, I decided to use a beauty blender. So just like before, I get my beauty blender a little bit moist and I apply it by dabbing it all over my face and I also use two coats. So just really to give it some, some extra coverage. 
And then I also used a MAC concealer. This is Mineralized Concealer in NC20. This, uh, I'm almost out of it actually. Um, this is a decent concealer. It's uh, got a really nice consistency. It's nice and thick. Um, and it covers pretty well. I have, I think this one is a little bit too yellow for my skin as well, even if you hold it up like this you can kind of tell. But actually in the camera lighting today, I think it looks okay. Um, so I, I guess it really depends maybe on how tan I am or um, you know how healthy I am at the moment, whether or not this blends in well. I do have about two coats of it on as well. I did the first coat with the Beauty Blender brush and the second coat with a regular blush, or sorry, a regular brush. I showed you my Real Techniques brush in day one, and that's what I used to dab on the concealer. And then I finished my face off with this Studio Fix powder. This is NC25. So um, as you can tell, I've got three different MAC products here, and they're all different numbers. So if you're looking for MAC products for your skin, you know, don't just pick out the same number in all of them and think they're all going to work for you. Uh, they're not. You have to try each, color, uh, each product line individually to see what color works best for you. So this is NC25 for me, and I'm almost out of this one. <laughs> um, don't know if I'm going to buy it again. I mentioned on another one of my videos that I'm, I'm really holding out for the perfect face powder. Um, this one is actually fairly good, but again, I think it's a little bit too yellow for my skin. Um, but today it looks great. You know, you just never know uh, what the lighting circumstances are going to be, what your base tan is, or anything like that. Alright, so now we're going to talk about my eyes. And I mentioned before I have a smoky purple eye color. Now these eyes are uh, a little bit more jewel toned than the other um, purple eyes that I've done in the past. Um, and I really like the way this turned out. So what products did I use? Uh, the first one that I used is this NYX Love in Paris palette. I'm not sure if this is still available, but this is palette number three. Be our guest, Maurice, or in French, à toi, Maurice. I used colors. Um, this one, the center color here, and this white color here. So I did most of my lid in this color as sort of my base color. And then I did the white uh, right underneath my eyebrows, on the lids, and on the insides of my eyes. So these palettes are actually pretty fun. Um, if you see them or if they're still available, pick some up. They have a bunch of different kinds. I picked this one because it had so many purples in it, but it also has some nice neutrals. And if I ever wanted a black eyeshadow, there it is. I also used, um, this is kind of looks crazy in the video, but this is a makeshift palette that I made. I took a bunch of small compacts that I had and I sort of combined them into one. This is an internet hack I found. It's an art bin. So it's got a big magnet. You can buy these palettes with um, these magnetic bases to put all of your eyeshadows and blushes and stuff in, but they're very expensive. I can't remember the name brand. That's so popular, but I wasn't going to spend all this kind of money on these expensive makeup boxes that I think they were made out of cardboard, not plastic, so they could crush easily. And because I was traveling, I wanted to make sure I had something nice and sturdy and with a good magnet. So you uh, pull out your eye, your makeups um, using a blow dryer to sort of melt the glue and then you stick them on. So I used uh, this purple here. Um, I don't remember the exact name of it. I'll try to look it up online, but I know it's a Maybelline line. I love this color purple. It is a beautiful jewel tone. It goes on really well, um, and I could just, you know, wear it every day. And then this dark purple from the L'Oreal Hip line. I don't know if they make L'Oreal Hip anymore. It's super highly pigmented. 
You have to be careful with this one that it doesn't kind of fall down here on your cheeks because it can um, make them really dark and it's kind of hard to cover that up once that pigment falls um, down while you're applying it. So make sure to always tap off your brush or even rub off the brush a little bit before you apply it. So I did um, this Maybelline purple sort of here, as you can see, and on the outer edges. And then I filled in with this super dark uh, purple just on the out corners and in that deep crevice right there. But I'm not done yet. <laughs> the eyeliner. So this um, eyeliner that I used is an Ipsy Find, or score really. It's called Star Looks Ultra Orchid. And it is a um, really, really smooth pencil. It has got sparkle in it. Um, if you like your sparkle, I wish this was actually a little bit heavier and that it wasn't so smooth. It tends to be a little bit on the greasy side. Um, so that's just something to look out for. But I applied this on my lower eyelid and my upper eyelid and I started my cat eye with this. So I sort of drew the line up through here. They're not 100% symmetrical today, but they're much better than they usually are. So I kind of drew the line up and then filled in through there. And then I also used an eye crayon and this is some no-name brand. I'm not even going to share it with you because I don't remember where I got it or what it is, but it's a basically white pearl eye crayon and I also kind of did like right here with it um, and I did my eyelid with it. So I used this in addition to the white eyeshadow in this palette to sort of blend and make my eyelid um, not so dark because I do have hooded eyes. You Sometimes it's good to keep lightness on your actual eyelid so your eyes just don't go and kind of disappear into your face. And then finally, I used this product. This is also from the L'Oreal Hip Line um, High Intensity Pigment uh, Color Truth Cream Eyeliner in 960 Eggplant. And um, can see it's almost like purple black. Uh, I really like this color. It's getting a little bit dry so I probably need to replace it soon but I just went over the outer corner of my eye kind of following the line that I made with this eyeliner. I did the same thing uh, with this just to darken it up a little bit and uh, to add that extra staying power. I finished off my eye look with two products you've already seen before, but I wanted to show you them again quickly. This is the NYX uh, Eyebrow Powder and my Benefit Cosmetics Their Real Mascara. I only did one coat of mascara on today. If I was uh, really going to a gig, I would probably do two or three coats of mascara, but uh, I just thought one would be enough since I'm really not going anywhere special today. Okay, and so now it's time to talk about my cheeks. I have a little bit of blush and highlighter on today. It looks a little bit lighter on this side because uh, there's a light source from a window, so it's kind of washing out that side. But um, they do look symmetrical with direct light. This is an Ipsy score. This is from Model Co. or Model Co. Cosmetics. Blush Cheek Powder in Cosmopolitan 01. This is a beautiful pink color. It goes on really nice. Um, it can, you can really build up with this one and get a lot of really bright pigment with it. So um, start light and then build up to the color that you like. And then I found this one is also an Ipsy score. This um, I found that these two colors complement each other very well. This is from Vintage by Jessica Leipskind <laughs> in Crystal Pink. This is an illuminating face highlighter. So here's the color. And so I applied this. You can kind of see it reflecting off the, the light from the window. I applied it through here um, 
and I just blended, blended, blended the highlighter and the blush together as much as I could. So, that's my cheeks. And the final step for today's makeup look are my lips. And I did a basic lip liner. And this is Revlon Color Stay Red. <laughs> Just your basic red. And I applied this um, on the outsides of my lips and then I colored it in just very lightly. And then I finished off the look with another MAC product. Today's a MAC day. This is called uh, Fresh Moroccan. It is a frost lipstick. Um, and this is the color. It's a, a red lipstick for sure, but it's also got a, a brick kind of color to it and it does have orange undertones in it. So this color uh, looks really good on me because of the orange undertones. It tends to look a little bit more orange when I'm not wearing a red lip liner underneath it. So you can kind of um, change the intensity of the color, sort of the tone of the color based on what lip liner you're using. I don't have a lip liner that has orange undertones to it. Um, so it's, I usually wear it with this red lip liner or no lip liner at all. So that's today's look. I hope you like it. My gig day makeup face. And I'm curious to know what your gig day makeup face looks like. If you'd like to share, please leave me a comment. And as always, if you have any questions, you can also leave a comment as well. And I'll try to get back to you if I know the answer. And tomorrow I'll be back with what I'm calling my photo shoot makeup look. So I hope everybody has a wonderful day and I'll see you again next time. Take care.